In the last adventure of Detective Bagley and his occasionally helpful human sidekicks, we discovered that a billionaire tech mogul and a war profiteer both had secret plots to exploit human suffering and murder thousands. A shocking twist, I know. Speaking of the people we most suspect, Mary Kelly's slave trade is bound to be any day now, and we also just received a distress signal from a coffee shop of all places. Maybe the Wi-Fi's down or something. Oh, is that relevant, Bagley? Yes, obviously there's more to it than that, but I knew I had to make a joke or you just tune it out. I've marked both leads on your optic. Alright, so what do we got here? Saw two missions. We got the whistleblower. DeadSec receives an SOS signal. It seems to be coming from the server at the Stragger Coffee and crashing the auction. DeadSec teams up with Inspector Caitlin Lau and discover that Mary Kelly is trafficking people using an implanted microchip to coerce them into slavery. If they step out of line, she uses the chip to incap incapacitate them and then sells their organ organs. They have discovered that Mary Kelly had organized a slave auction in the Hackney Baths, infiltrate the sale, and gather evidence of Caitlin Lau's case for Caitlin Lau's case. Uh, let's do the whistleblower or Sir's mission. And actually, can I deselect a mission? Untracked. Uh, you know, what? I'm not going to do this right now. Yeah, we're going to do the mission first. Let's go. Sir's chapter started. Spy games. The whistleblower. This is strange. One of our servers is being pinged constantly from the Wi-Fi of a particular Star Roger coffee. And the reason I should care? Yes, I thought it was noise at first too. It's really a but then I decoded coffee. the pings. It's Morse code. Three letters repeating over and over. Go on. S O. Wait for it. S. We need to dig into this. Send me the coordinates. All right, all right. It's all the way back here. Thank God for fast travel. Get to the distressing over there. Everyone, what just happened? I'm here. What now? There doesn't seem to be any obvious peril, does there? Have a seat and I'll ping back the IP, sending us the distress signal. You're a time traveler or something? Who calls on a flip phone? It's a crypto phone. It's secure. Every device on CTOS can be compromised. If we're overheard, we're dead. Both of us. Who the fuck is this? Not important. What matters is that I have inside information on SIRS, and I believe the people who framed you are rogue officers. And loath as I am to say it, dead sec may be my only hope to stop them. All right, we'll listen, but no promises. Good. I hit coordinates to a meeting place on a device in that establishment. Some spy shit right there. What is SIRS? I still don't know what they are. I don't like this. Thanks. Sabine? What are we into here? All right, that's a wrinkle. So this SARS bloke says Zero Day are a bunch of Secret Service dickheads, I mean. I suppose it does make sense. The bombings were too sophisticated for randos, but SARS could pull it off. 
Officially, SIRS, or the Signals Intelligence Response mm. Service, uses surveillance data drawn from CTOS to identify large-scale terrorist and criminal threats. Okay. Then they send Albion to shoot the threats in the face, for example. And in the wake of escalating violence in London, the SIRS is extending the right to use lethal force to law enforcement and Albion securities. Unofficially, SIRS uses your data to read your mind and arrest you for having naughty thoughts. So we have means and opportunity, which leaves motive. SARS are fascist pricks, but they're supposed to stop groups like Zero Day from doing terrorist shite. Why cause one? When you meet this guy, ask. Okay. Now he's just on the way here. So it's some sort of intelligence agency that possibly are behind Zero Day. Oh shit, I am sorry. got a problem. That SIRS guy isn't here and there was a fight. What should we do? SIRS might be onto him. If you get access to the area's surveillance infrastructure, I can rebuild the scene in AR. All right, I'll give it my best. Access the AR footage. Like a drone by any chance? Saw a few guys flying above here. You're mine now. Now let's see what we got. What are you doing here? I ain't seen nothing, Gov. What do you mean? Wait. You don't look... Oh, bollocks. You're undercover, aren't you? Trying to see if I'll talk, eh? Ain't gonna happen. Easy, easy. I ain't seen nothing. to the scene and I'll reconstruct what happened to our contact. CTOS AR. Data reconstruction in progress. That appears to be our contact. <laughs> Fucking hell. Yes, it certainly doesn't look like his best day, does it? Analyze the clues in the AR workspace to find out what happened to him. This is a non-lethal weapon, so odds are he's still alive, though he may not want to be. Okay. They've taken our SIRS contact away, but they may still be nearby. I can reconstruct the vehicle's path from unsecured CCTV recordings. That should allow you to follow it. Construction's nearly finished, and so's our contact if you don't hurry. Going down in one way.
It looks like our contact's assailants stopped here, but I can't see them nearby. Let's analyze the data to see if we can find out where they went. Data reconstruction in progress. Our contact's assailants are switching vehicles to elude pursuers, which is standard operating procedure for private military perks like Albion. Albion? Shouldn't they be sirs? What can I tell you? They're mercenaries. If you keep looking, you might find out why they're interested in an SRS whistleblower. I've completed a thorough analysis of the vehicle and concluded it is a van. <laughs> Hilarious, Bagley. What else? Well, I could also mention that the minute traces of sand in the tire tracks indicate that it's been on a construction site recently. But you know me, hate to sound like a smart ass. I've been scanning nearby construction yards for Albion activity and, long story short, some dozy git has forgotten to turn off the security camera in the makeshift torture room. Show me. You're Manny, a sirs officer and a leaky fucking twat. It's not me, I swear to God, please, please. Oh, fuck. This guy's got a head full of deep state secrets. We have to save him before he blabs. Bagley, give me a location. There it is. Oh shit, I couldn't get in the cover there. Alright. Easy, easy, easy. I'm dead sick. You called us. Of course. You shouldn't have come here. Now they'll know for sure I've betrayed them. I just saved you, you knob. No, you've just damned us both. 
Look, um, I'll upload the intelligence onto an anonymous FTP. They'll explain everything. Actually, how about you explain everything? My name is Richard Malik. I'm an intelligence analyst. I believe Zero Day are rogue SIRS officers who framed you for the bombings to seize power. Now they're murdering or blackmailing anyone who threatens them, which now somehow includes me. Fine. Bagley will check out the info. But I better not regret this. That I can't promise. Malik has made his way out, and now I suggest you do the same. Let's just go back the way it came, I guess. Actually... Hey, my car, still here. This is that hardcore WikiLeaks shit. Let's check the intel right away. All right, one second. All right, finally, check his intel. Then get everyone together for a brief. Mission complete, the whistleblower.